Hey, I hope you're aware of our clamp calculation generator that we did a video on yesterday. But what if you don't want to apply it just to font sizes, but your margin and padding as well? Because you can do that. The feature is there in Elementor, but what I'm showing you, you could basically do to any WordPress website as well. So let's just say I want to play around and I want to ensure that my margins are a certain size at a certain size of screen. And as the screen size shrinks, I want my margins to reflect that. Why would you do that? Well, if you've got pretty big margins, say you've got, um, I don't know, 60 pixels, top, bottom, left and right. When you get to a mobile screen, do you really still want 60 pixels going all the way around? Maybe you now just want to apply 20 or 30 or even 15. Let me show you what you do. I'm going to go over here and I'm not going to change the H1 tag because what I'm really interested in is the calculation that we have over here. So all I'm going to do is change some of the values. So the minimum size of 380 uh, for when you shrink the screen size is fine. The 1200 I'm kind of okay with. Well, I might go for 1600 to be honest. I'm okay with that. But now I'm going to adjust how big do I want it to be. So I'm going to say I want the smallest size when it shrinks to be 20 pixel margin. But when it's really big, I'm going to go with 100. I'm putting in fake values here, okay? So I'm just gonna go with 100. So now I have this new formula. I am gonna copy this, by the way, with this um, calculation tool that's on our website, and the link is in the video, you can copy everything in one go. You don't have to just do it one at a time, which is why I think it is super cool. Now, if we go over to this page here, loads of headers, paragraph, and body text as well. What we're gonna do is now apply this to, um, basically the section or the container. The text I write here is the same for containers in Elemental. You might need to right click and inspect your container. So if you're using Bricks Builder or any other WordPress tool, basically anything where you can do CSS, inspect it and get the class name. The class name here is Elemental Section Wrap. I've added that there and then I'm just gonna paste in what I copied over from the calculation tool. Now I don't need to have the word H1, so I'll get rid of that. And I don't have, to, well, I'm not touching the font size, We've already done that above. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm now just going to type in margin. Now, did you notice what happened to everything on that page? If I remove that, I've actually got two sections on here. Well, one's a section, one's a container. There's a section and there's a red container. But because I'm applying this universally across everywhere, as soon as I type in margin, it applies it to the section and the container just to prove to you it's the same terminology in Elemental. This is where if you apply it to your site settings, it will apply it across the board. So if you're going to have consistency with how everything looks, you could do that. Otherwise, you could do it individually into each individual section or container. I'm just showing you how this works. So I'm just dropping it into the site setting. So I've gone to apply it and it's applied it to the top, bottom, left or right. I could, if I want, go and do this and type in left and it only applies it to the left. Top middle, bottom, left, right. Okay, top, middle, but no, top, bottom, left and right. Can't even get my words out. Let's not just go and see this in action with what it's going to do. So if we now look on this preview page here, bear in mind that I've already applied some font size clamp to all of the headers and text on here as well. So they should shrink as well. As we minimize the screen, can you see the text is shrinking, but can you see the spacing around as well? And as I get smaller, it basically shrunk quite a bit. Can you see that? So rather than me having to manually go in and do it, I can be quite prescriptive. If we go back here, I could have put in this formula for margin top and then had something different for margin left and margin right, margin bottom. It's entirely up to you. And that's not all. I could also have done it to the padding as well. Um, because this is just like a section or a column, by the way, it looks like nothing has changed, but you can do the same for padding. So you can be quite clever with how you make your website more responsive. And if you don't wanna do it under the site settings, I'm just gonna pick up all of this over here, uh, right up until the end bracket, by the way. I will then go into the section, go over to where the margins are, and rather than typing in a value where you go, okay, we're gonna have 100 pixels, then I'm gonna go to the mobile and go, then we'll go to 20 or anything like that. I'm gonna click over here where we have the PX4 pixel. I'm gonna click that and then go to the pencil because this is all the new feature as part of Elemental 3.10. But remember, you can apply this logic across 
any WordPress website, okay? So please don't think this is just Elementor. And into here now for the top, I'm gonna pop this in and I'm gonna do it for the bottom as well. The only difference is in the site settings when you put in the raw code, I can do it to the left and right. Here it's just the top and bottom, but you could also, if I want, go over to the padding here and I can go, okay, we'll put it in the uh, right and we'll do it in the left as well like that. And if I update that, go over to our preview, which we've got over here and there you go, it's now changed and I start to shrink this down it's doing what we were doing before. It's a really, really simple, easy way to make your websites more responsive without having to continuously go right top, middle, bottom, and all of that. You can just do it once, you know, if you do it in site settings or set it up like this um, and then keep copy pasting the previous section or container because it's got it all built in for you. Those calculations, I mean, there's loads of calculators out there, but this allows you to do loads of stuff in one go. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bat.